Well, I have yet to be on the other side of the island, on the east side. So, I think today I'm gonna venture over and I'm going to visit this really cool place called Coconuts. Um, it's very touristy, yes. It's very Americanized, but there's some wild animals there. Well, they're domestic animals, but they live outdoors. <laughs> um, so that's exciting. And also it's lunch with a view, right? So it's a win-win. So I am going to do that today. I'm gonna to take you guys with me and also try to get some beautiful shots of the ocean and the cliffs and it's a beautiful day, so why not? Let's go. Driving in Mexico can be interesting at times. Uh, you have to be pretty aggressive and know that uh, if someone looks like they're gonna get in front of you, they're not, it's just how they do here. So your United States reaction is to slam on your brakes, like, oh my God, they're not gonna stop. They are gonna stop. Oh, there's an iguana in the road. Um, also gotta look out for that. Um, and then you got little kids trying to cross the street at all times. And you got scooters and motorcycles going in and out everywhere. And then the one way streets, it's, you gotta pay attention. It's different, but this isn't my first time driving Mexico. Um, so I am a little used to it, but you still never fully get used to it because, woo, yeah. But here we are on the, the highway that crosses the east coast to the west coast. And I just passed a lot of little convenience stores that says $1 beer to go. <laughs> um, they really uh, play to the tourists that are crossing to the other side of the island. Um, but it's pretty basic bear right now. Not much to see. And it's about 20 minutes to cross to the other side of the island once you get out of traffic. By the way, that is a bike lane on the sides. Um, there are, I think there's a triathlon that they hold here every year. This is what I'm talking about. Look at all the lack of people. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> oh, so beautiful. Ah. Oh. Check that out, I love that. Wee! <laughs> yeah, so this part of the island does get seaweed or sargasm as you can see in the water. Coconuts, and I got the mix of each. I know, big shocker, right? And they're famous, really, really, really strong blue margarita. I'm not gonna be able to finish that. That's how strong it is. Hi, pretty. Hola. This is leave me alone. I'm busy. I'm busy, lady.
You don't want to talk to me? Hi. No talk? Hola tequila, ¿cómo estás? Hola, muy bonito. Oh, are you showing off? Hola, hola tequila, muy bonito. What you doing? <laughs> Cutie? What you doing? Oh my gosh, those margaritas were so strong and I finished it. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but I did. But I was there for a couple of hours too, so. <clears throat> That's a fun place. Check it out if you ever find yourself on the island. Um, a good group of waiters too, very friendly. They speak good English, way better than my Spanish, that's for sure. But I am not prepared for the beach and I'm looking at a beach right now. So I'm wondering, should I go there and not get in the water and just sit there and sweat and be tempted? Just lay in a hammock? I think that's what I'll do. Just chill out in the hammock for the afternoon. That sounds amazing because this breeze is awesome. Alright, I had a good day. Thanks for joining me guys.